you're a kid, when you're between the ages of like three and 13, that's the best time to learn an instrument and really like nail it down. I was right at the age where if I'd have started learning at about 15 or 16 years old, I wouldn't have been able to pick it up. So I just started teaching myself by ear. And to this day, I have my degree in, in music. Um, I would never sacrifice my happiness to make money doing a job that I don't enjoy doing. In some kind of way, I, I just I knew I was going to be an inter entertainer, and so from since I was 13 years old, I always knew that, that that was something I was going to do. And I remember, I remember clear as day, joking with one of my friends. Um, his name is James Henderson. I, I joked with him when I was about 13 years old, and I told him I was like, when I have a band, he'll be my drummer. Now, granted, he hasn't actually played with me yet, but um, you know, so it's always been in the back of my mind, and then. I just was writing songs constantly. And um, I told myself, initially when I got to college, I wanted to be a voice major because I wanted to get my voice better so that that way I could become a singer songwriter or become a, or, or sing in general so that I could be, be a, th a triple threat in percussion, piano, and vocally. I started really writing a lot of songs about my sophomore and junior year of college. And then after that, I was just like, you know what, dude, I could, I'm a musician, but I could play and sing these songs. So I decided to um, pursue that really hard. And the thing is, anytime that, for me personally, anytime that I write something that I feel is good enough to share with the world, I want it to go out. I want it to be out there because that's the point of expression is for it, for others, other people to, you know, see it, hear it and touch it. So. I was uh, my freshman year of college. My after my first week of actual classes, Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina hit, and I was um, stuck in my dorm for six days, and um, it was a pretty nutty, crazy experience. And um, how I got out is a really long story. writing what I actually experienced directly after the storm. I have not finished it because I blocked a lot of those memories out. But um, at some point, I would, probably this year, I'll probably just pick it back up and just, I remember everything in detail. So it was a, it was a crazy experience. <laughs> For me, it, it, uh, to be honest, it's hard to write when there's, there's nothing dramatic going on in my life. A lot of my poetry and a lot of my um, music comes from circumstances in my life. All my inspiration comes from something I, I went through in some kind of way, whether that's happy or sad. My, uh, my songs in general are written by themselves or they're taken from a remembered experience. Are you?